recap, we've got these two ways of thinking about problems. We've got functions that are in this complexity class NP, which stands for non-deterministic polynomial time, that we can solve it with a non-deterministic Turing machine in a polynomial number of steps in terms of the size of the input. And the other way to define that class is there is some certificate, or we, we also call that a witness, that you can verify one output to that function in polynomial time. If the output is one, there's some way to prove it that you can verify in polynomial time. Like, give me the actual path. A function is NP hard if every function within NP can be reduced to it. That means it's at least as hard as the hardest problem within NP. And if it's also within class NP, then we call it NP complete. Right? What the Cook Levin theorem proved, and we've seen what they actually proved was a little different, but the way we like to state it now and the way the book states it, is that we have a problem 3SAT, right, which is the satisfiability of Boolean formulas in CNF. There's nothing really special about the 3SAT, it's just that's a simple way to write down the Boolean formulas that allows us to prove it, right? So we could do satisfiability of any formula, but what we know is that that satisfiability problem is NP complete. If we want to prove some function G is NP hard, what do we have to do? So what it means to be NP hard is that there is a polynomial time reduction from every problem in NP to G. So we could try to prove that, which is what we did for one problem, the NANSAT problem. Right? We proved that there's some way, because of the definition of NP and what a verifier is, and that it runs in polynomial time, that every problem reduces to it. The other way to do it is, well, now, once we know some problem that's NP hard, we only have to show one reduction. We have to show that this problem that we're trying to show is NP hard reduces to it. So that's almost always going to be the way we do it now take advantage of the problems that we already know. And as you learn about more problems that are NP hard, you have more and more options for how to do this proof. Right? And there are lots and lots of them. So this is just a small subgraph of all the reduction proofs that have been done to show problems are NP hard. Satisfiability is the one that's in the middle here. If we want to prove a problem is NP complete, we've got to do two things. We've got to show that it's within class NP. That's an element of, and we've got to show that it is NP hard. What do we have to do to prove P equals NP? Well, that means those sets are equal. For every problem that is in NP, and maybe we can do this from the definition, but the more likely way is, well, we know every problem in NP maps to some problem that's in NP hard, right? Any problem in NP hard, if we can map any problem that's NP hard to P, then we know they're equal. So all we've got to do is find one problem that's in NP hard that can be polynomially time reduced to one problem that's in P. And then we prove they're equal. That sounds easier than it is, because no one actually has been able to do that. But that would be a proof if we could do it. There could be other ways. OK, so when we don't have a proof, we can do surveys. Right. Uh, at least people have done surveys of pools of computer scientists, and it turns out that the number that think P is not equal to NP, according to the surveys, is about 88%. Very scientific <laughs> survey of people who happen to be on a mailing list and were willing to respond. You can see all of these other answers that were, well, maybe it depends on some choice of axioms that we use in arithmetic that we don't all agree on. Maybe we don't care. That number has gone to zero, but according to the survey, it went to zero because they changed the survey so you couldn't answer anything other than yes or no. The quote is, of course, P is not equal to NP. Anyone who thinks they're equal is like thinking Elvis is alive. And the response to that is, Elvis definitely is alive and he's working on P equals NP. <laughs> and I don't know if that's true or not.